Hey guys, this is TotalGamerN5, and I am back for another tutorial. And this one is on uh, how to make your own model for Counter-Strike Source, and how to put it into Counter-Strike Source and also texture it. Um, in another tutorial, I'll get on making custom sounds and scripting for it, um, as that gets into pretty, that gets into a lot of detail. Sorry. Uh, the next thing is I'm gonna try and sorry uh, go as I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna try and go as fast as possible through this. So if there's anything you feel I didn't explain enough or need any help, message me or leave me a comment and I'll get right back to you guys. Um so the first thing we're gonna need is we're gonna need these programs. And they are BTF Edit, No Chase three D, MDL decompiler, GUI Studio MDL, JC Escape, and RDS 3DS Mac. Uh, the names of those will be in the description. And uh, the VTF Edit, MDLB Compiler, GUI Studio, MDL, GCF Escape are all free, and you can find them for download on uh, just Google. Milkshave 3D and Autodesk uh, are the only ones you have to pay for. Uh, there's a free 30 day trial of both if you want to do that. And there's many tutorials on YouTube on how to get them for free. Uh, excuse me, sorry. <coughs> So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our desktop and we're just going to be making a simple cylinder for this because I don't want to get into too much detail. So uh, I'm just going to say we're going to make a pipe. So our new folder is going to be called pipe. Now we're going to go into here and we're going to create some more new folders. And the first one is going to be UV. Uh, the second one is going to be raw. And the last one here is going to be decompiled. Alright, so now that we have that, we can just minimize that, and we are now going to open up our GC Escape. And also guys, uh, if you get a problem with the MDL decompiler, um, don't worry about it and look up MDL decompiler fixed, and that solves the problem for me. Anyways, so uh, first off we're going to go open. And if you guys haven't used this program before, it's going to start you off right here. You're going to go to your drive, program files, theme, steam apps. And now you go to counter strike source shared. Alright, now you're going to go C strike. Here, I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys. Uh, apparently I can't even ask. Uh, then you go materials. Sorry, that's wrong. Uh, you're actually going to go models, <coughs> weapons, and now you're going to look up your knife. So everything has V underscore knife, highlight it, and drag it into the pipe raw folder. Now if we go in here, it should be there, and that's all good. And that's all we need uh, GCF Escape for. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to open up our MDLD compiler. I have the fixed version because the other one would not work for me. Um, and we're going to put it into our pipe decompiled folder. And unfortunately, I have to uh, actually write out write out the whole uh, place where it is. So just give me a second, guys, while I put it in. All right. Now, another important thing is we uh, have to say do not fix rotations on animations. It makes it a lot easier in the end um, that the uh, file is actually in the hand properly and not screwed up. So, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to extract. Hit OK. OK. And if that all popped up, then you're good to go. If it says that it stopped working, just end, <coughs> end it and uh, try again. It sometimes takes it sometimes takes a couple of times, and uh, that's pretty much all I need to know for that. So now we have we go back into here. We have some decompiled files, uh, and we have our previous files. Now we're going to actually make our um, knife. Well, our Pipe, sorry, uh, replacement for the next. So you're going to open up your Autodesk 3ds Max. I already have it open because it takes a long time to load. Um, and for this, we're just going to use a cylinder. And so I'm just going to drag out a cylinder. 
Make sure it's pretty skinny because you don't want it to look weird in the hand. That's too thick. That's a lot better. Alright. Okay, so now I'm going to actually name it Pipe. Alright. And now we are going to go into our Modify tab. And we're going to right click on the cylinder. I don't know why it's doing this. And go to convert to editable poly. And now, as you can see over here in our modifier tab, it has editable poly, and you can select a vertex, edge, border, a whole bunch of stuff. <clears throat> so, we're just going to select the editable poly. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go into our modifier list, and we're going to hit the drop down box, and we're going to go all the way down to unwrap UVW. And now, as you can see, there's three more things vertex, edge, and base. We are going to select base. And now we are going to go into our parameters down here and hit edit. Alright, now we're going to select everything and say mapping, flatten mapping. Okay? And now, as you can see, it's separated everything uh, into different parts that we don't actually have to do it, uh, it does it for us. So, um, uh, now this is where you can set up your UV. Um, so that it looks good. You can also scale it by going to the scale button over here and make it smaller or bigger if you want more detail in it. Um, there you go. I'm going to do that. And then I can move this one over on this side. And I can move this one over on this side. And if I were to use correctly, I'd move all of these together. But uh, just for this tutorial, since I'm trying to go quick, uh, I don't really want to. So, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go File, so that's wrong, we're going to go Tools, <coughs> Render UVW Template. And if we render right now, it's just going to look extremely weird. It looks, I don't know, it's, it's perhaps not even true. Um, so what we're going to do is, uh, this is where, it, like, the actual size. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here where it says Fill, and where it says None, we're going to go Normal. And now if we render it, it looks like that. So now we're going to do our edges is this green box. We're going to drag it all the way down to white. Now render. And now as you can see it looks a lot better than it ever did. So uh, that's pretty much all I need to do for this. Uh, so once you hit render UV template in here, uh, go save image. <clears throat> and then we're going to save it in our UV. And we're going to save it as a BMP file. So we're just going to save it as uh, UV. Save. And next, what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, File, Export, and go to the drop down box, go to 3DS, and go to our folder. I'm putting it in the raw folder and I'm just going to call it pipe. Okay. And the next thing we're going to do is we're just going to save it so that uh, we can edit it later if we need to. And we can all, it also allows us to uh, edit the UVW if we need to. So there you go. Now you can just exit out of uh, Autodesk. And it takes a while for me. I don't know why. But anyways, so now we have uh, almost all the folders we need. I mean files, sorry. The next thing we have to do is we have to uh, actually make textures for it. So we're going to go into a photo editing software program. One of them could be GIMP, which is the free version of Photoshop, and the other one could be just Photoshop. Uh, the reason I wouldn't use paint.net or just regular paint is because it doesn't have some of the same uh, stuff you can do with Photoshop or uh, GIMP. So I would use one of those two, but you really don't have to if you uh, don't want to, but that's just my suggestion. Um, and anyways, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to file, open. And here's our UV, and it's in our UV file here, folder, sorry. And so we open it up, and it looks like this. Now we're going to go to our Layers tab, Control Shift N, 
Usually you want to name